So um, I highlighted key issues um, on gender equality in ASEAN. So basically we talk about women um, position in the political leadership and gender wage gap in the um, um, in the economy and also um, I emphasize uh, the fact that um, on social issue then violence against women is still a very concerning issue um, in the ASEAN region but um, from ASEAN side uh, we have uh, done quite a lot to show our commitment um, to promote the empowerment of women and girls and gender equality in ASEAN. We have a number of decorations and then regional um, plans of actions um, on eliminating um, violence against women and children. And um, we are having now uh, a number of uh, key documents, uh, the declaration on um, gender responsive um, to um, uh, relation to SDGs and then we have the declaration on um, women's economic empowerment which is a very important issue that ASEAN is really keen on working right now and um, also the, the, uh, the joy statement on women peace and security which I think is very timely to have that at this moment that ASEAN really want to um, work on um, violent extremism and preventing um, the all forms of violence uh, in the region. Um, all the participants they're from Southeast Asia they're all women but uh, as I said in the, in, the, in the workshop, in my session, that um, they are exceptional women in the sense that um, there are a lot of women out there in this region that have faced uh, their challenges, that have, um, you know, that have been in the situation of vulnerabilities, and um, it's important that they understand so that perhaps uh, they can work to help those women or they can work with those women. And um, it's, it's, I think it's pivotal that um, the young women leader wisely uh, reflect and really you know come up with the solutions of okay what they can do now that um, they're part of the wisely network